Hello Crypto Cats, my name is Tom and I am the Crypto Investor and it's time for a daily look at the markets. This is what we'd normally hope to see at the end of a week, but this is the one day performance. We have Ethereum up 10.5%, Bitcoin up 13.5%, um, DeFi smashing it um, with the likes of AMP up 40% and Aave and Link up best part of 20% themselves. What a short squeeze we've just seen, what a lovely pump. Let's have a look at what is going on. Um, so we had $900 million worth of shorts on Bitcoin that were liquidated. This is the number of shorts liquidated. Uh, and you can see that we have this massive spike here. Um, and of course, when a short is liquidated, you have to buy Bitcoin to cover that short. And so you get what's called a short squeeze. And that's when you get very aggressive buying. And we'll look at that in the charts in a second. And one of the main catalysts for this is the rumor that Amazon are set to accept Bitcoin. Um, this is actually on the BBC now. This is just saying that they're advertising for a cryptocurrency specialist. Um, but there was a leak to City AM from an insider saying that they're planning to accept Bitcoin and perhaps other currencies as well, as well as maybe making Amazon token, which could be interesting. And I uh, tweeted not so long ago that Let's be honest, if Amazon is building a token, it will be on Ethereum. And don't forget, you can click on this link on my Twitter, T Williams B. Um, Amazon already worked with Ethereum on Amazon Web Services. So it's not a big stretch for them to build it on uh, the Ethereum blockchain. So big things are happening. The bull market feels like it's back on. You know, you can tell that there has, this is just confirmation of that. Um, you can tell that there's been a momentum shift and uh, the nice thing about that is that we now are starting to shrug off bad news. In fact, I didn't have this prepped for you, but the creators of Tether are now being investigated. Um, and so we are, you know, there, there was FUD today. Here we go. Tether executive said to face criminal charges. A week ago, this would have sent the market into a tailspin. But what do bull markets do? They shrug off bad news. And so we continue to move upwards even on the back of that as well so let's look at the charts and see what's happening i mentioned in my video on the weekend that we had a breakout of this trend line and then things just got really accelerated and we have then since seen this massive candle where bitcoin jumped um five thousand dollars or so in uh, the matter of a couple of hours that was the short squeeze once they got past here it's now coming into where we'd expect to have some resistance. $4,000, there you go, 11%. Um, and we, you know, this is where I said that we would potentially be back and forth for a while. If we do find out that Amazon have Bitcoin on their books, on that they're accepting it, and that that announcement comes out sooner or later, then expect us to sail past this. We, we all know what Bitcoin is capable of. Um, and, you know, the, the narrative has changed. It changed on the back of the B word conference last week. Um, and now we're starting to um, really look at positive news um, moving the market and negative news having less of an impact. Uh, in fact, worth mentioning as well, this is the uh, we have a big week in earnings um, in the stock market. Uh, of this channel, we don't talk much about the stock market. But the uh, Amazon are one of those companies announcing their earnings after close. And if they have put Bitcoin on their books, then we'll find out on Thursday. Of course, you know, they may well not have, but it's something to look forward to. If that is the case, that would be very exciting. So Thursday after close on the stock market. So that's 730, um, 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, they will we, we will hear from Amazon then. So that is something to have in your diary this week. Um, I mentioned on the um on my, my video about this uh, triple bottom formation which we had with ethereum we had three equal um supports at this exact same number here at 1730 um, we had that with a downtrend we had that with increasingly lower volume and then we've now had this volume spike and we Really, for this to be a confirmation of a reversal, you can see this is where we have had some strong resistance here at the 2400. So we're just now coiling underneath that. Um, you know, the markets probably will take a little bit of a breather for a day or two. 
um, we will see. But this is you know forming a nice little bull flag. Um, we may come back and forth a bit here, and then hopefully we'll see an impulsive break. And the likely next target will be 2900. I don't even have the line on my chart right now. Um, but that's where we will expect to see. Here you go. You can see the resistance clearly here. We Basically a nice, I mean, we've got some resistance coming in at 2650, but a nice big air pocket all the way up to 2900. Um, so, you know, this bull market, we're not out of the woods, but the bull market looks to be back on. It's very exciting. You can really... Even on Twitter, the, 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 the conversation is, the change is palpable. Um, oh, I didn't say, please do like and subscribe the video if you're getting any value out of the content which I do put out um, and share it with your mates. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a guy on the internet. Um, one opportunity that you might want to have, um, I mentioned Axie Infinity quite a few times. The price of Axie has uh, peeled off 17% today. So a lot of people moving to where we have seen, well, Axie's obviously had this 500% run up, um, but people looking to follow momentum. But mostly the um, Axie Infinity team continue to have problems with their servers. They can't keep up with the demand. Um, and so their servers have been down for 12 hours. And when that happens, the coin sells off. That's what we saw happen previously here as well. This was a server issue. So you would expect that this is not a long this is you know short-term noise uh, rather than long-term signal and for me the long-term signal with Axie Infinity is this it's their bottom line it's the fact that they are still generating outrageous revenues 37 million dollars in the last seven days and that they still have the lowest PE ratio um, of any of these tokens so it still for me represents a good value proposition um, with that pullback, it's not a bad opportunity to get in. Um, not really clear that you know here is where we will get the reversal. It may well just happen now. Um, if we had to buy at support, you can see support coming in here at 32.3. Best to place your orders a bit above there. So you know 33.1. Never use round numbers. That's where you have a consolidation of orders. So always make sure that you place your orders just slightly obscure um, rather than on the rounded numbers. So. Here we go, maybe 33.1, 33.2, um, or just get a small position as we are here now. Um, it's quite a nice little pullback. So, I mean, that's really it. This was just a quick video, really, to celebrate and to um, really cherish this beautiful green day that uh, we, we have seen in the markets. Um, Bitcoin now looks, again, just like I was showing you with Ethereum, we have this move up, consolidation, move up, consolidation. We're just actually coming, it's almost testing the top of this consolidation zone already. Um, so expect, you know, expect there to be some strong resistance here. We have moved up quite considerably, uh, quite quickly, but momentum has shifted. People are FOMOing back in. There was a lot of money on the sidelines and it is, no one was able to catch that impulsive move. It happened so quickly. So, you know, that FOMO cash is coming back into the market. <sighs> Up only. This is exciting. Um, I hope you're enjoying it too. And uh, I will be with you with another video during the week. And uh, happy investing, everyone. And speak soon. All the best.